The knobs on a Lunt solar telescope provide an effective means of tuning the etalons. However, in my case, the telescope is on a pier 10 feet off the ground, requiring me to stand on a stepladder while turning the knobs and trying to get the etalons in tune. Also, this makes it difficult for me to see the computer monitor, which is down at ground level. So what I'm looking for is a means of remote pressure tuning where I can sit in a chair right in front of the computer monitor and tune the etalons to optimize the image. Here is the Lunt Double Stack Solar Telescope modified for remote pressure tuning. Each of the two pressure tuner knobs has been modified to replace the original plunger with one that allows pressure to be supplied from the outside from an external source. The key to the remote pressure tuning is the replacement of the original aluminum plunger within the knob with a 3D printed plastic plunger which has a hole for, uh, through it for applying external pressure through a tube that goes to your pressure source, shown here. Uh, the original O-rings from the aluminum pressure plunger are uh, switched on and placed onto the 3D printed part and the 3D printed part is also uh, coated with epoxy to uh, relieve the problem of porosity which allows leak air to leak through the plunger. The plunger is installed much as the same way as the original aluminum one by using the knob to push it into place past the two O-rings. Now the new pl uh, pressure plunger is, is providing an airtight seal connected to the outside world through this tube. The tubes from the two etalons are connected to a T which allows connection to a single common pressure source. So both of the etalons are pressurized to the same pressure during tuning. So now I'm going to demonstrate tuning the etalons with a manual pressure pump. Uh, here you see the sun uh, displayed prior to tuning the etalons and it's displayed in fire capture. This is the Ralston Instruments DP0V pressure pump. Uh, it's very expensive. This was $467 and then I paid another $168 for 20 feet of tubing. Uh, I also added a 0 to 15 PSI pressure gauge from Amazon.com for another $12, which I've been very happy with. Uh, in this case, both etalons are being tuned with the same pressure. Uh, this was the simplest and cheapest solution for a double stack setup. So the first thing I do is turn on the pressure gauge, and it shows 0 PSI. Then I close the bleed valve. And then I start pumping with the knob on the right, and I get between 1 and 2 PSI with each pump. And I'm going to pump it up to about 10 PSI where it comes on band. So there's 10.6 PSI. And uh, this knob uh, on the left is a screw that you can tune to fine tune the pressure. If I turn it clockwise, it gradually increases the pressure, counterclockwise it will gradually decrease the pressure. So this gives you control to a few hundredths of a PSI. And you can see lots of detail on the surface of the sun here, uh, showing that you're on band. If I increase the gamma, we can see that there are prominences visible today. Up here, also over here, and here. It's a very active time for the sun right now. I take the gamma back down to where it was.
So some conclusions from this. Uh, first of all, you only need to get to within about plus or minus a half PSI to be on band. And uh, any finer than that, I can't really tell that the image has improved or degraded. Uh, second, tuning both of the etalons to the same pressure works pretty well. Uh, and it would add cost and complexity to tune independently. Uh, but that is something that I, I plan to do in the future, is to, to test, test, test tuning them independently. Um, third, uh, the pressure from the system uh, leaks very gradually over time, uh, despite my efforts to identify and eliminate the leaks. So this uh, leads to it gradually coming off band over a period of time. Uh, but it will certainly last uh, at least half an hour or more um, without making any adjustments despite the gradual leaks. Now if you were doing uh, long duration uh, work like uh, time lapse that you wanted to, to run uh, autonomously without you being present to adjust the pressure, uh, then you would need some means to regulate the pressure over time and maintain it at the pressure that brings it on band. So now I'm going to demonstrate tuning with regulated pressure. Uh, again, both etalons are tuned with the same pressure for simplicity and reduced cost. So I built up this system uh, with uh, a source from my uh, air compressor, which I used to inflate tires, which has been set to 25 psi. as the input uh, for the Dwyer MPR1-1 0 to 15 PSI miniature pressure regulator. This only cost about $68, uh, so it was a good value. Uh, again, I have a 0 to 15 PSI uh, $12 uh, pressure gauge in line with it, which I turn on and initially it shows 0 PSI. So this is uh, a purely a mechanical pressure regulator. If uh, it's um, provided with source pressure uh, from the tank of my air compressor, and if the um, pressure drops below the, the set pressure, uh, then it will open a valve and let more air in. Uh, if the pressure uh, drops, uh, then it will uh, vent pressure to the atmosphere to maintain pressure. It has uh, no power or control circuitry. It's purely mechanical something like you would use to regulate the pressure for a, um, a, a paint sprayer. Only this is uh, 0 to 15 PSI, which is a, a low pressure device. So, to tune the etalon, I start turning the, the knob clockwise on the pressure regulator. and the pressure starts to come up gradually. I have pretty fine control over it, even doing this left-handed. There we're at about 5 PSI. We're going to go up to the same 10 PSI that we did before with the manual pump. 9 PSI, and there we're about 10.5 PSI. And I can turn it counterclockwise to lower the pressure. So again, pretty fine control of it. But the difference is with this system, uh, the pressure will be maintained fairly constant um, to about plus or minus half a PSI uh, over a long period of time. It, it will never let the pressure drop um, uh, drastically like the manual uh, pressure pump would. So this is ideal for uh, uh, long duration uh, solar imaging, such as taking time lapses over a period of hours where you don't want to have to be uh, present to um, manually adjust the pressure periodically. Um, but the pressure will drop by about half a PSI before it's um, regulated back up to your set point. And now I'm back up over 10 PSI again. 
So this is actually a less expensive solution. Again, the pressure regulator was only about $68. I had to put a T in line in order to have the pressure gauge um, read the pressure downstream of the pressure regulator. Um, but certainly you, you could put together a system like this with all the tubing and everything for under $100 uh, if you used uh, less expensive tubing.